There are many theories of human development, and today we're going to talk about that of Harry Harlow. Working at the University of Wisconsin, Harlow studied monkeys to understand social development and attachment. The roots of attachment stem from birth. Secure attachments are developed during a critical period. This critical period is the opportune time in order to develop skills such as motor functioning, social skills, developmental, or other things of that nature. For example, a critical period for learning language is when children are very young. That is why children have an easier time learning a second language as opposed to adults or adolescents who try and learn the same thing. Bodily contact is the key to secure attachments. To study this, Harlow made two artificial mothers. One was made of cloth, the other was made of wire with a bottle for feeding. Surprisingly enough, the monkey chose the cloth mother as opposed to the one with food. When it needed to eat, the monkey would stay on the soft mother and lean over to get the nutrients. This observation taught psychologists the importance of bodily contact in this critical period. As their observations, studies were done to understand what bodily contact deprivation could result in. Harlow observed that depriving them of bodily contact resulted in maladaptive child-rearing processes as identified by the Gale Encyclopedia of Psychology. And if there were no peers during development, the monkey would develop strong tendencies of aggression. By using primate studies, Harlow expanded the realm of research. Translating this to mankind, contact deprivation results in isolation, antisocial behavior, and weak attachments. To clarify, antisocial behavior is any behavior that deviates from the norm. For example, most people, when walking into an elevator, turn and face the door. However, antisocial behavior might be walking into the elevator, facing the back wall, and sitting down at the same time. To recap, Harlow studied monkeys in order to understand secure attachments. By developing two artificial mothers, one of cloth and one of wire with food, Harlow observed that young primates would go towards the warmth as opposed to the food. Contact deprivation, meanwhile, can result in isolation, antisocial behavior, and weak attachments to peers. This is the fifth episode in an eight-week series on human development. Stay tuned for the next video where we'll talk about the theories of Albert Bandura. Thanks for watching. Bye!